Okay, this is the massive army strategy. But unfortunately, I made the calculation that I just absolutely do not have enough weapons. So I invested in weapons for this battle. I did not take the 5,000 men. Now, after I did all this, I found out I had barely enough weapons. I could have taken the 5,000 men and increased the size of my army. But I didn't feel like going through this camp phase again. Uh, fortunately, the weapons that I just took with reputation gives me some kind of a buffer so I'm not right up against the wall with weapons in the next several battles. Uh, I'm in much better shape, but I, you know, I'm sorry I didn't get to, like, take that 5,000 um, men. So, yeah, the idea is to get as much XP for as many men as possible. Um... Once I start getting into lieutenant colonels and colonels, uh, I kind of want to grind XP for these leaders. And quite frankly, this was really easy to do um, because it, the game defaults to a thousand men and it also will give you an infinite number of majors. And that's pretty much what I did. I just generated as many units as I could to get as many majors in the field to turn them into lieutenant colonels because we're going to need five cores, full cores of officers. Also, the ammo wagons are pretty much full. We have 10 in politics, um, eight in army organization because I want five cores. Second bull run. So yeah, I think we have three three-star infantry, a bunch of two-star, but the goal is to get basically two cores of three-star infantry, basically 15 artillery units at three stars, five snipers at 375 men each. Uh, we have 114,000 men in the army. I should have 119,000. I should have purchased the 5,000 men instead of the weapons. But again, it was really close. It was really close. Um, getting all the men I had in the army, I could have made it work, but it was really close. So, I mean, I could have made it close if I had spent, let's say I spent more money out of my supply wagons, but I like going into battle with full supply wagons, as many of them as I can. Um, running out of ammo is the worst thing that can happen to your army. So, okay, we want to wipe these guys out if at all possible. Oh, my officer's in the wrong place. So we might be able to do some real damage, maybe even kill his artillery, um, get into the woods before he can move up by running. If, if I can get the woods, we'll be in very good shape. These three-star units can run. They, and I have three of them. Okay, we have the commander up. That's good. Paying attention there. Now we want to do as much damage to these guys as we possibly can. So my unit on the far left is in a good place. My unit on the right need to be very careful. There's always a skirmisher in the town. We don't want to take flank shots from that guy. Ooh, two units charging one. That is really bad. So I need to get two units on two. I do not want to get into melee. Um, two of his units on one of mine. That's a loser. But if I can get, if we're going to get into melee, I want to get two on two. I'll win that because my units are 2,500, two stars. His units are 1,500 or less, one star. So we'll win that. Okay, what else? Yeah, okay, now we're just exchanging shots. I'll crush him. Okay, there's his unit on the um, in the town. I want my three-star infantry unit to go to the rear of the enemy, if at all possible. Okay, now, now we've got him. I have two units on his, on his right, my left. And if I can shift... Is that scales? It's hard to see in the video. Um, 
Yeah, that's a three-star infantry unit, both in the town, and then my next unit that's going to go to the right is also a three-star. So shift those guys to, to the right. Yeah, this is this is working out great. Oh, hopefully, yeah, his, his um, skirmisher unit's in the water. We can kill him. Because he's once units get caught in the water, if they're routing, they're stuck, and or flashing white, they're stuck and they can't get away. So we can kill him. And these other guys are coming into the water. Perfect. Perfect. We can do damage to this guy, push him back into the water, and then he's a sitting duck too. So yeah, if he gets stuck in the water, he's dead. Here's another one we might get stuck in the water. Then on the far right, I'd love to kill this detached skirmisher. With any luck, he'll fall back and get stuck in the water too. Yeah, obviously this is going very, very nicely. Now it's important to detach skirmishers because I'm getting about a 15% damage curve debuff. There, There is something in the mod where you can set it that there's no damage curve debuff. Yeah, the first detached skirmisher is dead. We're going to kill the second one. But I have that set to on. It's The vanilla setting is that there is a damage curve. Um, and the damage curve is active. So by detaching skirmishers, you reduce the damage curve debuff. So you always want to have detached skirmishers with these 2,500 man units. Your units will just do more damage. About 10 to 15% more damage. So, yeah, I hope that guy on the right, the right of the screen, I hope he's trapped. That would be very sweet. Hate detect, hate skirmisher units. He's gone. I think that's the last one. Now we can maybe get behind this guy. Usually he routes into the right corner and you can't stop him, but it'd be nice if we could. If we have to do the melee in the right corner, uh, that's going to be a disaster. Uh, because it's wooded and it's going to be hard to get captures. Okay, I do not want this guy to route um, through my lines. So I'm trying to get guys to move very quickly. Uh, what the enemy does is it calculates what's the safest re retreat path. And if he had said, oh, it's south then he would have gone through my lines into the rear of my army. I wanted to prevent that. So that's why I had guys move. And detached skirmishers count as infantry. So I was able to keep him cornered. That worked out perfectly. And look, we might kill his uh, little artillery unit there. That's good. Something compass giving a 10% or plus 10 cover to my guys in the open. So that's handy. Yeah, that's an example of the commander in the right place, giving support, giving cover. The uh, first corps has some kind of a bugged circle for the commander, which is why <clears throat> most people recommend using turning your second corps into first corps and so on, and just having your first corps in order just be like a reserve corps, which is what I have. Because it's bugged. Oh, yeah, I'd like for these guys to get into the water. That that triangle of the water is a famous uh, glitched spot. If that infantry unit gets into that and then routes, he will not be able to retreat. Yeah, and I'm perfectly happy to get into melee with him. Yeah, that detached skirmisher, he's a two-star unit of 900, about to get into melee with... Yeah, he's already routing. Now, he should bug out. He should just stay there in the water. Which means that unit, that three-star unit, can just harvest kills. But we only have 35 minutes left, so decisions, decisions. What I should do is get into melee with that guy and just kill him. 
before the commander gets anywhere close. Because we only have 34 minutes. 34 minutes is not much time. Yeah, he's already starting to He's already starting to retreat to the right corner. I'm not going to be able to kill these guys in the open. I would have needed one of my units to get into the woods where the detached skirmisher is and convince him to stay in the open area. So that's not going to happen. He's down to 600 men. Yeah, he's starting to shift to the corner. Yeah, I've I've got to finish that guy. I'm fiddling around with him. Okay, he he surrendered. That's good. 27 minutes. These guys all have to get moving. But I, I think it's too late. As, as the guys on the left push to the right, my guys on the left of the screen push to the right, he's just going to go into the corner. And the odds of getting those guys to surrender now is not very good. And I need to get that detached skirmisher out of there, too. He's, yeah, he's exhausted. He needs to blend back into his parent unit. I'm not paying attention to his condition. He's taken too, mu too many hits. Yeah, get out of there, man. Just get out of there. Yeah, see? I waited too long. Okay. I can't tell these guys to charge because they're too low in condition but I can have them just walk on top of the enemy. We have 17 minutes. Might be able to get some surrenders. Okay, bringing the commander around to get to, to have that routed detached skirmisher recover. Yeah, I need these guys just to walk or run. Firing as they go until we get right on top of them. Yeah, just keep going. Uh, I tell him to charge. I, I don't think this is going to work. Um, Ten minutes. I, I don't think so. The enemy is not... He's in the woods, and he's... Yeah, he's in, even as I'm doing this... Well, at least I'll grind melee experience. You know? So that's good. I don't know. I should have. I should have just let them on... Um, yeah, that guy stopped, which they will do. If they're low on condition, they'll just stop. So I'm telling them to go forward. Yeah, we're all in now, man. We are all in now. Okay, tell these guys to cease fire. If they won't... Uh, stop fire. That means that they're in melee. Five minutes. Okay, we got a capture. We're going to keep him. That's a thousand. Okay, we got another one. Okay, we got two more. There's one guy left. To my surprise, man, this is this is working. But the this would never work. This would never work on Legendary. Tell these guys not to fire, to get into combat. Get, 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 get going. Get him. Three minutes. Come on, get him. Two minutes. Come on, one minute. Get in there. Yes, got him. Oh, man. That was, that was, whoa. Got them. That was close. Okay, we have 113,000. He has 28,000. This is the massive army strategy. 113,000. And he's going to get some reinforcements, but it's not going to... Okay, I don't think there's anything to do. What, what to do? I think... Um, I think about moving my three-star units out. That's a lot of fiddling around, though. I don't think I actually do that. Okay, 113,000 to 28,000. Four to one. Uh, 
Okay, I want to go on a big uh, march around the enemy flank. And this is going to be a big... We're going to take some time. We're going to walk around the entire enemy position. Uh, I'm going to stop talking at this point and come back in at the end of this phase. Before we go to camp, I want to surround and capture as many of the 20 whatever thousand the enemy has here, plus his reinforcements that I know are coming. I want to capture and kill as many of them as I can um, before the end of this phase. Or at the end of this day before we go to camp. So want to get to the rear of these guys, then take the high ground from them. I'll have reinforcements that come in um, on the right, and hopefully we'll get a big encirclement. Anyway, I'll stop talking. The first phase was a surprising success, and then we'll um, see if we can encircle the, the entire enemy position and kill a bunch of these guys and not end the battle. I, I think the key thing is, I've done this before, I think if you take the flag, the battle ends. That's a disaster. We need every minute to grind condition and to grind XP and so on. So anyway, um, I'll see you in the next camp phase or slightly before.
Well, that went well. Um, pretty much, I think... Um, we've accomplished just about everything we want to. Okay, we captured that supply wagon. We got the encirclements we want, wherever the enemy was. We got... We surrounded him. We captured units. I'm not really concerned about losses. This is a hard thing to... Um, I guess get used to. All I'm interested in is building XP. And the reason is the experience of the soldiers will will survive the entire campaign. So I will keep pushing my best units forward into the best units. So no experience is lost. Okay, we have 108,000. We did lose some men. Uh, he has about 13,000. So 108,000 versus... Yeah... Okay, we lost an officer. Okay, that's an efficiency hit, I think. Uh, okay, what you can do is you can swap out officers. So I can put a major... Yeah, in these, these units. And that seems... Yeah, that's fine. I think these no-bar majors are good to about 14 or 1,500, if I remember correctly. Uh... I can take this guy out. Small hit to the, that unit. Maybe this colonel will be good enough. Yeah, that's that's good. I think. Yeah, that works. I'm just checking everything. Checking the ammo. Checking everybody has an officer. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, that's good. That lieutenant colonel is going to get the XP for that unit now, so it might make him a colonel. Should. Yeah, that was clever. Okay, now nobody should have any penalties. Now, by emptying out these ammo wagons... Oh, I should not take them to zero. They should be a thousand. I don't know what I was thinking here. Maybe I'm just reallocating ammo. Ah, that's it. I remember now. I want to put 10,000 in these. Um... I don't know why I need 10 in the third. And yeah, the reserve core is tiny. So yeah, okay. Yeah, and then in, in the last camp phase, I should put a thousand in each one to see if I can route them off the battlefield and get an extra supply wagon, which I don't think you do in this battle. Okay, 108,000 to almost 13,000. Massive army strategy. So I'm going to take losses in this battle uh, because we want to grind melee. Melee um, buffs your efficiency line about as effectively or more effectively than any other single um, thing that you level. Okay, notice the blue line to the red line. A lot of these guys are exhausted. Okay, I think I'm just trying to manage this mass of units. This massive army that is the Union Army. You do not have this problem in the Confederate campaign. This is this is not a challenge you have to deal with. Having... You know, a hundred units in an early part of the campaign that you have to manage. You do not face this challenge. 
Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to uh, pop out now because I'm just kind of waiting to see what the enemy is going to do and then see where I want to try to get another surround. Um, find those units that need to just go grind stamina because there's just not enough room anywhere. I think I have coverage of the map. We're fine. So, yeah, I'll pop back in in the next phase.
Okay, I think things went uh, well. And we do grind stamina till it's like 2018, I think 2030 this is over. I forget. Um, trying to keep everybody moving. Yeah, his, his uh, cav unit just keeps bouncing back and forth. I'm trying not to... I don't have to shoot at him. He just keeps doing his thing. We lose 8,000. The enemy loses 30, 40, 30, 45,000, maybe. Um, the big thing is I took about 2,000 more casualties, I think, than I needed to, but I really was able to grind the XP that I wanted to. Uh, the only mistake, or the only thing I regret about this battle is I didn't get the 5,000 men with reputation. Um, really could have used that 5,000 men. So that would have almost negated all of my losses. So there's a, there's 100 units here. Um, lots of promotions. Absolutely, I mean, oh, more three-star units, more, more three-star officers. That's nice. And we're going to need three-star officers for core command and also to command my three-star units. We did get 10,000 infields. That's a huge, huge uh, boon. We, we captured a lot of units in this battle. So very happy with that. And so we, we now have a lot of weapons. I need more weapons. But now, yeah, I really wish I had the 5,000 men that I didn't take. We have 20,000 men. This is not good. Although we did we did build some stamina. And most of these, I think, were no bar majors, so they're close to getting their being lieutenant colonel. That's the cheap way to build an officer corps is buy majors and get them promotions, which we have plenty of time to do in the course of the campaign. Yeah, this looks good. This looks really good. For a second bull run, this army looks just great. Okay, we have another two star. All these guys are now one star. This is... This is wonderful. Yeah, I'm looking at their, they're just barely one star. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's amazing how, in some cases you have to fight two battles to get your units, their first unit perk. This is not the CSA campaign. Okay, and these guys are colonels, which means that every two of these units, I have a colonel who can now command 2,000 men. Generals command 2,500. Um, every colonel I have can command 2,000. Every lieutenant colonel, maybe about 1,800, 1,700, uh, something like that. So... These veterans will now be compressed into larger units under the command of a general who got his promotion. Okay, McClellan got his promotion. Need Grant to get his. Yeah, these guys were able to this isn't bad. These majors got a lot of experience. They're on their way to becoming lieutenant colonels. And all of those men will then be able to go into units of 1,500 easily. All of these guys, almost all of these guys have um, their first unit perk. Yeah, and what I intend to do with these, these guys is uh, put them into units of 2,500 and hopefully start grinding in side battles um, as many generals as I can so that, yeah, these units will all be in units of 2,500.
2,000 to 2,500. But yeah, we need to keep grinding officers because we need five core of... Well, it's going to be 24 Brigadier Generals each, and every unit is 2,500, and I'd like for two of my cores to be all three-star units of 2,500 men each. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get there. Not bad. Yeah, we'll put all those guys together in a battle and they'll easily get their first star. Well, my three-star units are really good. And I'm looking at this, and we definitely, definitely need more melee. Oh, that's very close to three stars. One more battle. I bet if I put a three-star general in there, I'll have four three-star infantry. That's going to take two battles. Two battles. Nah, two, probably two battles. These guys are not far from their third star. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units very close to their third star. Wow. That was a hit to the manpower pool. What the heck was that? The enemy got 64,400 men and 3,800 veterans. I've never seen that before. He went to 81,000. Oh, this is going to be fun. This Finally, the enemy is going to bring some numbers. Hey, more, more men on the field means more XP for me. More kills, more captures. I'll take it. I've never seen that before. Okay, by emptying out my supply wagons, I did get some additional cash. That's good. I'm desperate for weapons. Always, always, always. Oh, there's 10,000 infields. That's sweet. And I'll get 9,000 Harper's Ferries. 12, 10. Yeah. Okay, we're good. It Not taking the 5,000, I regret that, but the weapons that I got last time, plus the weapons I have now, and the captured weapons, I don't feel the pressure that I had before. And I am taking the 5,000 men this this next time so 5,000 men plus I have 20,000 right now there's 25,000 right now before we do any side battles um, Antietam I have 106 plus 25 that's 131 before we fight the side battles wow the massive army strategy so let's do some side battles and let's see if we can't grind up some more XP and create some more three-star units. We have two side battles. Crampton's Gap, Crampton's Gap, which is incredibly easy, and South Mountain, which is a bit of a struggle. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.